Welcome back. The next story is about an Ephrata High School FFA students who are getting a hands-on lesson in the world of agriculture. Reporter Jeff Chu has the story. It's that time of year when the sheep are lambing and the pigs deliver their litter. At Ephrata High School's agriculture barn, the cute factor is top pen, you could say. It's also a major learning experience for the future Farmers of America students in Tara Smith's agriculture classes. They're gonna be like, it's my first time in the dirt. You guys get to be away from your mommy in like three days. For afraid a 10th grader Rain Pond, raising a sheep from a lamb for showing at Grant County Fair was fun. Rain, who is among most of the students who have assisted in birthing lambs and piglets, recalled her first experience with helping a sheep give birth at the barn. It's really hard, but it's fun. After you do it, you're like, oh, I just helped an animal give birth. I feel very accomplished. Rain elaborated on her experience. I helped give birth like I hold it out with gloves and it's a process you have to first you have to get at least enough legs out to pull it out and then you have to get the head out and then you have to get the rest of it out which is easy but the heads are always really big and the areas aren't very big so you have to like stretch and fix without breaking or bruising anything. If Freda High's agriculture science teacher, Tara Smith, who instructs students in veterinary science introduction to agriculture and floral design, described what the school's barn is all about. We have the barn as a, it's basically a giant science lab with uh, living animals and they're learning how to properly raise and breed and take care of animals and um, to also apply the skills that we learn in, in classroom to real life situations. There's no shortage of farm animals for the FFA students to learn through a so-called supervised agriculture experience. Smith says the barn and corral at present have 14 ewes, a ram, and 15 lambs with another ewe ready to lamb. In the barn's pens are two sows, 16 piglets still nursing, and 12 market hogs that will be fattened up to sell in a month. The barn provides a place where city-dwelling students can participate in real animal husbandry. And they do all of the care. They give all of the injections that start the day after they're born and they dock the tails and um, band, the, band the testicles and they tag the ears. Um, that's with the lambs and with the pigs they also do those injections. Two other Afraid of High School students said they hope to apply what they learn at the barn to their futures. For the longest time I wanted to be a veterinarian, but more and more, I would probably want to be an agriculture teacher so I can help students um, in the further generations to just become farmers and just get into it. We uh, pretty much were here give, helping the piglets come out for the first sow. It was definitely something different. Never, never done that before. It smelled really bad. But uh, once we were all said and done, and I learned a lot of things from it, and a lot of things I could take off into my life after high school. I'm Jeff Chu for i Fiber One News. Rounding out this week's news coverage is a story out of Moses Lake, where greenhouses are being built for a marijuana, marijuana grow operation. Reporter Jeff Chu has the details. Those greenhouses going up at the corner of Wheeler Road and State Route 17 are the first such marijuana production operations inside the city of Moses Lake. City planning staff said no building permits were required because the structures are considered agricultural greenhouses. Structures such as that are exempt from the building permit process under the city building code. So city information about the extent of the operation and how much marijuana will be produced is scarce. Grant County Assessor's Office records show the property of more than seven acres is owned by Kenneth Skolan and Chris Jen Enterprises, LLC of Anchorage, Alaska. Attempts to contact Skolan in Alaska were unsuccessful. A spokeswoman with the Washington State Liquor Control Board said the marijuana production company is listed under the name of Raspberry, LLC. She said the proposed Moses Lake Marijuana Greenhouse Growing Facility's state permit to operate is pending. The greenhouses are located in the vicinity of another marijuana production operation, which will be inside an existing building in the 1400 block of Wheeler Road. The Moses Lake City Council in September approved allowing marijuana growing operations within the city limits. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. And that wraps up our weekend edition. 
iFiber One News will be back on Monday at 5 p.m. with the latest news from around the Columbia Basin. Thank you for watching.